Do you want to know the three things to focus on to create multiple six figures in your business? How is everybody? Coach Isai coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. So as you're jumping on, as usual, just drop me a couple of likes. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd like to um, know where this message is getting out to. So we're going to get right into it because I actually have to jump onto a, another call and then a webinar. So we're going to get right into it and hopefully I'm going to bring you some value. So let me ask you this. Do you ever sit down at your computer and you have, all, you know, you have this idea of what you want to get done and um, you, you kind of sit down and you're like, oh my God, I need to, I need to get X, Y, and Z done. If I don't get this done, you know, I can't move on to the next thing. Is that you? Really? Or like, like, do you, do you have like tunnel vision? Because if you do, then I'm going to let you know the three most important things you should be working on so that you can build your business. Now, these, these steps basically, they, they work interchangeably, not interchangeably. They, they work synergistically as in like if you're missing one of the three parts, you're not going to see the right results. You're not going to see the results that you're looking for. You can essentially think of them as like building blocks, say Legos, one builds upon the other, but they're just three little steps. So I notice a lot of times, you know, people focus on either the wrong things or multiple things, and they don't really focus on what they really should be focusing on to build their business and take it to the next level. There's one part of the whole equation that people tend to over exaggerate or focus more on than the other parts of the equation. And that's promoting. Now, promoting is important without a doubt. Sometimes people focus on that way too much and don't focus on the others. So what am I talking about? What, what things am I like, what, what pieces am I talking about? Like, what is it that people should be focusing on? Good question. So the first thing you should be focusing on, especially when you're just getting started, and it's kind of implied in the name of our business, of our profession, but a lot of people, either they read past it or they don't realize it's there. They just, again, maybe they're so focused on promoting their product or their business that they fail to realize the most important step, which is point one, build or grow your network. So we're in network marketing and essentially we're marketing to our network. So if you don't have a network of people to talk to or an audience, then, well, for lack of better terms, good luck marketing to a, an audience of zero. <laughs> Number two, when once you've built that network and you've got an audience of your own, you want to engage with your audience. You want to bring them value. You want to talk to them. You want to be in front of them. You want to be present in their life, essentially. By doing so, you're going to end up building rapport with your audience, with your network, with the, you know, the people that you're following. And this is by far, I would have to say, the most important uh, part of this whole equation is is the rapport building that um, engagement that continual uh, relationship building because at the end of the day people um, you know they're gonna buy from those that they feel most comfortable with when they know like and trust you that and only then is when they're gonna buy from you again good luck marketing to somebody that that you know you don't know you don't they don't like you and they, they, you know, they don't trust you. And the third, here I go again with this two, three. <laughs> and the third is to promote to your network. It's that simple. Once you've grown your audience, you've built that audience, that following, you've engaged with them enough, you've provided value, they're learning to like and trust you, then and only then can you promote to them. Because at that point, you really don't have to do much to promote to them. You essentially just have to say, hey, I have this, you know, I'm promoting this sale, this product, this opportunity. And since they know, like, and trust you, they're going to be like, hey, well, you know, I'm interested. Uh, where do I sign up? The most important part of this whole package is you can't be missing either part. Again, they all work together. You need to grow your audience. You need to 
uh, understand your audience. You need to, uh, you know, engage with that audience. They need to know, like, and trust you. They need to feel comfortable with you. And then you can promote to them. So it's essentially in that order. Grow the audience, uh, engage the audience, promote to the audience. So how do you engage with your audience? I get that question a lot. And I'm sure you're thinking the same thing. Realistically, engaging with your audience, I would say it's like, it's 50% putting yourself out there, putting content out there, and 50% interacting with your audience. So what do I mean by interacting? So if you, if, if you have people that start commenting on your stuff, by all means, comment back, say, hey, how are you? You know, I'm glad you enjoyed the video or the training or, you know, just just build that rapport, build that connection. Let them see that you're a real person behind that video camera or behind that Facebook profile or behind your tweets or, you know, your YouTube channel. Like there is an actual person behind all this. And wouldn't you know, they actually you know, like and trust you. The other key that you need to keep in mind here. And this kind of goes pretty much with everything in your business. You need to be consistent. What do I mean by consistent? Well, I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you need to show up day in and day out. You need to be in front of that audience every day, if not multiple times a day, and just keep providing them with more useful information, education, entertainment, um, and just keep doing the work, keep showing up in their newsfeed and continue commenting on their stuff. When, when they comment on your status update or your video, or they give you a thumbs up or whatever, thank them for that. Let them know that you appreciate them because ultimately this is a long-term strategy. This is not a get rich quick scheme. You're not going to, you know, make a million dollars overnight. No, that's not what we're talking about here. This is slow and steady wins the race. This is, this is a marathon. You know what I mean? Like you have to keep showing up consistently, providing value, showing up. They need to know who you are. They need to feel comfortable with you. You know, at first, You'll probably feel like, oh, I'm doing all this work and I'm not getting any interaction. And that's kind of, that's pretty normal. I mean, that's just the way it works. When you first start showing up in somebody's newsfeed, you know, they're going to be like, you know, they may even ignore you for however many times before they're like, hey, I notice, uh, you know, Coach Isai keeps putting out videos. I, I'm, I'm curious to know, like, what, what exactly is he doing? Like, what, what's... What's going on? And then they'll eventually get on one of your videos or one of check out one of your blog posts, your status update, and they're going to start understanding where you come from. That's when they start, you know, that's when you start building that relationship with them. And again, this takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. You have to work at it every day, consistently show up, do the work, get in front of them until the point you've been in front of them for so long that once they do feel comfortable, again, once they, once they, once you hit that threshold of, you know, over here, let's say is not too comfortable. Once they get here past the comfort, you know, the comfort level or comfort zone, whatever you want to call it, then at that point, it's a piece of cake. Like I said, you basically tell your audience, hey, you know, thank you for following me. Thanks for this. I appreciate, I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. But hey, I have something I think you may be interested in. Click on this link, do this. This is where your call to action comes in. Have them do something. And they're more than likely going to feel comfortable taking that action because they're comfortable with you. Think of it as like one of your friends that you've known since forever, let's say since high school or even earlier than that. You know, like if if somebody, if one of your friends like that, they, they send you a link and they're like, hey, I found this link. I thought you'd appreciate this. I thought about you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Wouldn't you be like, oh yeah, you, you know, I know this guy or this girl, you know, we've we have a good relationship and uh, you know, wouldn't you feel comfortable accepting that link and clicking or doing whatever it is that they say just because you know them for so long? Well, it's, it's very similar with network marketing. You want to build your relationship with your audience up to the point where they feel comfortable with you. That way, when you do present them with something, an opportunity or your product or you know a, a webinar or a class, or whatever the case may be, whatever it is, when you offer that to them, they're gonna be like, yeah, you know, I feel comfortable. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at what you have to offer. Why not?
And that is when the process gets simple. But getting to that point takes time. It takes work. It takes, you know, consistency. It takes you showing up. It takes the right mindset. But I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. So, hey, I hope you got value out of this. If you like what you heard and you want to hear more about attraction marketing, then in the description, you're going to find a link for our 10-day boot camp hosted by none other than Fernie Ceballos, my mentor, and hopefully your mentor soon. If you haven't done so already, hit like on my page, follow it, set to see first, and I'll see you on the next video.